prepared but we will see that we can do something better so what i was doing so this will somehow become i guess it will become o of m square kind of algorithm but it will be something bigger so we would try o of m kind of theta of m kind of algorithm and that's how you do that's the beauty here so you will see how kmp algorithm calculates this such that it can be done in lesser time so let's see this algorithm beautiful algorithm okay so a b a b a c a this is your pattern okay and let's try out now so we have so this what it does compute prefix function p so here what it finds m is the length of p so m is 7 k is 0 so k is basically how much is your basically what is the longest prefix that has been found that is k now you run for pi of 1 we always it will be 0 because you cannot take up suffix of same length as pattern so pi 1 is 0 k is 0 for q is equal to 2 to m so q starts with 2 and then what happens while k is 0 so initially k is not 0 so here what you will see is that we reduce number of comparisons and try to save them what we have already done so we will see here so k is 0 here and p k 1 p k plus 1 pattern k plus 1 is a if it is equal to this p q so what we are considering the q here will tell which p k we are considering basically which p q we are considering so i am now considering pi of 2 we are trying to find and hence we are considering p of 2 q is 2 here so b in this one your k p k plus 1 is not equal to p q so what we do just we say that pi of q pi of q is 2 pi of 2 is basically k was 0 so it is 0 now what happens i am done here and i have found that in in this one it is not matching okay so till here we haven't found any prefix that is matching so q becomes a 3 now so in 3 what happens q is k is still 0 so now we see that q is here and this is gone so now q is 3 and p of 1 is equal to p of q so we find this is equal to this so at least prefix 1 is a suffix of this length 3 p3 now what happens i know these two are equal so that's what we do now and then what happens is we make pi of 3 is equal to 1 okay this is there because now a b you cannot move further so we stop here next what happens your q becomes 4 q becomes 4 here we are q is here so we have already known that this a and this a are matching so this is a already known that they are matching so to find if this prefix if it can extend so we just need to say that okay q is one now you are not q but k is one because one letter matched so now one is matching to find if if i am extending this and making it p4 is these two matching so p of if k is greater than 0 so let's come here p of k plus 1 so this pattern a b so is it this b matching with the next one in this q so this is there a b a b matches so now i know that okay this will be a prefix of length 2 will be here okay so pi of 4 will become 2 okay next what happens q becomes 5 okay and q becomes 5 it comes here q now i know that there was already a matching of a b here in this p4 k was 2 so if i am extending one more which means i just need to compare the last if i extend this prefix one more a b a and this one so a and a are matching so this means now my prefix matching will be of length 3 so pi of 5 now becomes length 3 so q k 
k is now a 3 so the very long prefix is now getting matched now what happens we come to c q comes here to 6 and we see that our k was 3 so now if k is greater than 0 and this are not matching so till here it was matching now this b is not matching this c so it means that the patterns are not matching and then what happens we need to somehow backtrack and say that no our now longest prefix that is becoming a suffix for p6 is going to be how you calculate is so now k becomes is equal to because pi of k minus 1 we are calculating now something already calculated computed so k minus 1 is 2 pi of 2 so k is pi of 2 so it becomes a 0 so it means now in this one a b a b a c so the length of the longest prefix of p that is the suffix of this is 0 and you can verify also so c doesn't match length 2 a b and here it is a c length 3 a b a b a c so they are not matching so this becomes there and then pi of 6 so what happens k is now 0 so p k plus 1 so a k was 0 so a is k plus 1 a and a matches and so pi of 6 becomes 1 so now you have calculated this and this will be now a theta of m at least o of m algorithm okay so you can compute this prefix so till now it's clear how we compute this prefix in o of m time next thing is when we have computed this prefix which will help us shift our window that okay if something is not matching how much the window should we slide this will be guided by our pi k okay this pi vector